Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to my weekly tune up this week. As people talk to me each day, they talk to me about a lot of things going on in their life. And one of the biggest things going on with people right now is there are so many distractions that people are unable to concentrate or focus. It seems to be an epidemic right now and concentration and focus is really important, especially if we want to have interactions with other people or if we want to drive safely. Being able to focus our attention on what we are intending to focus on is critical. One of the reasons, and I think one of the biggest reasons right now that we're having a hard time focusing is something I see in my office every day when someone comes and works with me and they pay me for an hour of my time and yet every time their cell phone lights up with a text message, they immediately look at it. Even though they're there for my help and for me to help them, they immediately look at that text message like it's really important. And sometimes it is, but rarely. It could be a good ad for cheap nail polish at the mall that day, but it gets priority attention because it's a text message. And people have trained themselves to be so involved in just finding those instant gratifications and reading those messages. And then the people sending them expect that immediate attention back. It's turned into a worldwide epidemic. People are walking into walls in front of cars. They're actually losing their relationships because of this. We're losing our ability to have our children listen to us and respect us because we allow it at the dinner table. You've gone out somewhere and watched a couple and noticed that they're both just looking at their phones. They're not talking to each other. They're together, but are they together? Are they connecting? They say we're the most connected society that's ever been in all of history. Well, I think we're the most disconnected society. The more connected we become, the more disconnected we get. We're not really connecting with people. We're just wired to people. We're wired into the net and it's now become a synthetic way of communicating. Real communications is when you can feel the vibe of a situation. Just like the animal world relies heavily on their vibrational capability to read a situation or understand their environment because they're in it and they're immersed in it. We have desensitized our ability to get the vibe anytime we just text someone rather than have a conversation or meet with them or really reach out and touch them. I think it's really important right now that as we're raising kids, the next leaders in this world, that it's going to be imperative that they can communicate yes and also connect. One of the big problems right now with Twitter is there's unaccountability. Anybody can terrorize or say anything about anyone and nobody can do anything about it. Yet it's always taken as truth. Things on the internet can be said about anyone, about anything. There are so many scams, so much BS on the internet, and yet everyone relies on it now for their news or what's going on. It must be true. It's on the internet. We've got a really get our head screwed on straight right now. We've got to really understand that the more we allow this in our life, the more we are losing our ability to make choices. Our ability to communicate with another human being has to do with getting rid of the distractions and connecting. And oh yeah, you could even say, well, this little email you sent me, Gary, is kind of a distraction. Should I ignore that? This can be a distraction or it can be used. I'm doing this to help people. I'm doing this to help us all connect. I would rather see all of you in person in my office, but you're all scattered around the world. This little community we have here can make a difference if you will make a deal with yourself today to shut that phone off, especially if you're in the presence of someone else who's with you, has taken the time to be with you, and wants to talk with you. It's rude to allow that phone to ring and for you to answer it. It's rude for you to hang on just a second, let me do this, and then text somebody right back while somebody's sitting there having a conversation with you. It's time for us to get our civility back. This is having a severe effect on the way we get along with each other, our ability to love one another, our ability to solve problems with one another. Today, I want you to make a commitment this week to yourself that when your family's with you, you're with your family. If you're on a date with someone, you're on that date with that person. And if you can call that person or talk to them in person rather than text message them, then do it. And if you gotta send a text message, make sure your intention is delivered properly because most of the time it won't be. 
Let's work on that this week. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary week. And pick one day this week and just put the phone down and communicate directly with people. Let's see how it works. You might be surprised. Bye-bye.